So, based on my last video, I'm going to explain what is phase margin and gain margin for a Nyquist diagram. By definition, gain margin is the number that you multiply from where the Nyquist diagram crosses the x-axis to get to the point minus 1. So let's look at the diagrams that I made from the previous video. What is my gain margin? Well, this is infinity, okay? This is negative 1. Is there any number that I can multiply infinity by to get to negative 1? No, not really. Even if I did try to find a number, I would get infinity times 1 over infinity. So then technically the infinities would cancel out, and I'd be left with... 1. But what is negative 1 over infinity? Well, it's 0. It approaches 0. So my gain margin for this particular problem was 0. Gain margin. Or a more accurate answer would be that the gain margin cannot be found because there's a magnitude of infinity that's where it cross that's where the Nyquist diagram crosses the x-axis. So that's the gain margin. What is the phase margin? The phase margin, by definition, is the phase when the magnitude of the transfer function is equal to 1. Where does this happen for this graph? Well, I just made a tabulation earlier. This happens at 90 degrees, because the magnitude is 1, so the phase is 90 degrees for the transfer function that I had in this problem. So, my phase margin for this problem is 90 degrees. What does that mean? That means when my magnitude is 1, so when this is 1, or when this is 1, see this magnitude is 1? My phase is 90. Is this true? When my, when my magnitude is 1, is my phase 90? Yes, it's true. So I'll look at another example that I did. Right here. I did uh, the problem 2s as my transfer function, and then the characteristic equation was 1 plus 2s equals 0 to get the poles. So it crosses at 0, 0. Is there any number I can multiply to 0 to get to negative 1? No. Because 0 times anything is 0. So it doesn't really have a gain margin. So you're probably like, okay, well, if I can't even have a gain margin, what's the point? How does this help me? Well, generally, your plots are going to look something else, look like something else. Something more like what's in the textbook. This one in particular. That one. Right there. See this point right here where it crosses the axis? I don't know where my mouse is. There it is. This point. We're going to figure out what number we have to multiply this point by to get to negative 1. Why? Because we want the system to be stable. We want to shrink the error in the graph. And the way we do that is by finding a gain margin. Gain margin is like the k value that we can put at the top multiply the, f the whole function by to reduce error. You can think of it like that, conceptually. So hopefully that makes sense to you. Let me know if you have any questions, and thank you for watching.